How's it going everybody? It is Lockhart here, your semi-official content creator, I guess, via content creator scan. Let's just say that. And um, we got some huge news uh, coming to us, and that is the fact that the Hades banner is coming in real soon. And by real soon, I mean September 5th. So we got about two weeks uh, before this happens, and the art looks absolutely spectacular. I wonder who this character is. Um, this is nobody I recognize, but I'm sure if I dig into it, I'll be able to find them. Uh, but I like this as like a bit of a teaser. Um, and I like this because it just screams out like all sorts of like showboating and drip. Like it just looks great. So what does that mean for everybody? Well, some of the things that you're probably can do right now actually to prepare for Hades especially if you're gonna pull and you want to start building some of the things that she needs um, you can start with the Charon's Obol this is uh, the placement of two four and six obviously um, and this will work really well for her um, if you have uh, S Hera this it's gonna be she's gonna be an easy add-on as well um, there's gonna be a bunch of future proof things and we will I will make the guide in regards to what you can do to really, really build her, but that won't be until next week. Uh, I feel like it's a little too soon here because those are kind of the only things you can do. And of course, when you can build those Charon's Obol, you're going to want to be able to include uh, Fierce Assault, of course, and then you're going to want to do the crit and crit damage uh, as, as, as much as you can. The thing about Hades is that she just comes in stacked. And uh, her playstyle is probably not, I mean, if you're like me, it's probably not what you thought it was or what you think it's going to be. So that's really interesting. And um, just to kind of wrap up this event, where the butterfly belongs, um, it was overall really good. I feel like, again, so well paced. Um, and for somebody who has it as like a side game, it just makes it that much easier to want to continue to go on and play. Uh, this is just going to be wrapped up today. So you're a little bit of storyline. Um, two things that were specific to the characters, which was really fun. So obviously for Hell, it was like the turret mini game. For Lost and Found, you got to kind of do the F-Zero racing again which was with uh, Hermes. And this was really interesting simply because it was a little bit different. There were some mechanics on how to be able to maintain your speed. And it did require a little bit more accuracy, uh, but this was really cool. This was really fun. Um, and then of course you have the Tomb of Butterfly. This is just like, you know, your exploratory maps. You get additional maps with this one. Disaster Zone Sweep was kind of cool. And I feel like applications wise, this is something that maybe they can consider doing as a PVE multiplayer where you just survive with like two other people and you just like, you know, you build a team, you get in there, you kill as many units as you can. Um, but at the same time, it's uh, via t a timer and you just have to survive like, you know, like a horde mode or a zombie mode in, um, you know, one of those games, the Phantom. From the past, this was really cool because you fought this boss that is basically like, you know, literally from the event, which was nice to see because they made some new characters for you to fight. And there's going to be a couple more before we are all done this event. Um, you got some free items, which uh, you can do by get by completing all the events. Of course, your outfit trials, your character trials, and uh, this neat little thing here where um, when you complete the main game or the portions of the event you get to upgrade your characters but all in all a good time also a very complete event makes you feel a little bit more connected to the story connected to the characters and it's nice to see that being mc you have like thoughts of your own instead of just being like quite protagonist that makes decisions and says absolutely nothing and uh and and it was cool kind of see the nuances of new characters banners were good as hair obviously came out here but um i i know that everyone's waiting on this because hades 
comes in Hades tier for months. And if they wanted to mess around with us, they would release Hades and then literally bring out somebody that was like a global exclusive that makes Hades look like a rat that does like nothing. And this new, this new like character just comes in and like trumps everybody. But it's probably not going to happen. So anyway, um, that's kind of it. And uh, if you watch it till this point, please like and subscribe, um, you know, share and blah, 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 all that fun stuff. And uh, so that way I could hit my milestone of either 1K subs or 100K uh, views total and be able to celebrate that milestone with y'all. Uh, you know, someone gets a gunpla or something. I haven't decided whether it's a uh, master grade or real grade yet, but whatever I can get my hands on. And then that way someone out there can share in my hobbies. Anyway, thanks. Take care, everybody.